Hi everyone, let's talk about counting derangements in combinatorics. We'll start off by defining what a derangement is. A derangement is a function from d a function d from the section n to the section n where this is defined as the first n positive integers such that there are no fixed points and it's a bijection. So we have a bijection and by a fixed point we mean f of i equals to i. So none of the points map to themselves. And we want to count the number of derangements there are given a fixed number of elements in the domain and a range that is equal to the domain. So we're going to need two tools. First of all, we're going to need the principle of inclusion-exclusion. The principle of inclusion-exclusion, just recall, states that the cardinality of the union of finite sets a, k for k equals to 1 through n is equal to the sum from k equals to 1 through n with alternating signs starting with k negative 1 to the k plus 1 and what we have are these sums inside of it so what we do is that we have subsets j of the section n such that the size of the subset is k elements and we'll be doing the sum of the the sum ends are these cardinalities little j in capital J of the intersection of the a little j's so that's what the principle of inclusion and exclusion says and we have a separate video about it if you want to check that out and we're going to be needing this and the second thing that I want to say is that the number of bijections h from the section m to the section m is simply m factorial and we're going to be using this so here's what we're going to do for the a k's we're going to define for k equals to 1 2 all the way through to n let dk be the set of bijections from f to f from n to n such that k is a fixed point and now what we're going to do is that we're going to use complementary counting so what we're what we're really looking for is the the total number of bijections which is n factorial minus the union of the possibilities of fixed points so we do k equals 1 through n iterating over the dk's so that's what we're looking for and now it should be pretty clear why the principle of inclusion and exclusion is relevant because we can apply it to get that it's n factorial minus the sum iterating from k equals 1 through n where the sum end is negative 1 to the k plus 1 and inside it we have a sum again j subset n the section n where j has cardinality equal to k and we're taking the cardinality of the intersection of the little j in the capital J of dj. Now this looks complicated but we can actually compute it explicitly because there's a degree of symmetry here. So okay first of all we need to make clear what's going on here in this cardinality and we're gonna compute that out clearly because what it means is that the a, a set of 
the, the K set of little j's over here, they are all fixed points. So we, we know what those are mapping to, so we can get rid of them. What that, what that allows us to do is compute this cardinality over here as n minus k factorial, so the factorial of n minus k. And this negative we can turn into a positive by turning the k plus 1 into just a k. So we get the sum of k equals 1 through n of negative 1 to the k and the sum as before it's we're we're gonna make this simpler in just a second but for now we're gonna leave it as is and this this sum n is equal to n minus k factorial because the rest are fixed points and well the the first k points in in this j set they're the fixed points and the rest we have to map bijectively and as we said before, the number of bijections is equal to the factorial of the number of elements in the domain. And now what we know, or rather what we can invoke, is the fact that we can use symmetric pi. Symmetric pi tells us that each of these, well, the number of elements in this sum is n choose k so and each of the sum ends is the factorial of n minus k so we can simply write this as the sum from k equals 1 through n negative 1 to the k n choose k times n minus k factorial and now it's just a simplification process so we can write this as n factorial plus the sum, well, let me, let me write this out on the side. n choose k is equal to n factorial over k factorial n minus k factorial. So since we have this over here, we can cancel out this factor here and we can factor out an n factorial. So we get negative one to the k, iterating from k equals to one through n over k factorial and now we can just absorb this outer term into the sum so we get n factorial times k equals to zero now because we absorb the first term in with the sum n being negative one to the k over k factorial so this is the number of derangements of uh, where, the, where the domain is uh, the first n positive integers. Now I want you to notice that we have a factor of n factorial outside. So that means the fraction of derangements we divide by n factorial because those, that's the total number of bijections is this sum k equals to 0 through n negative 1 to the k divided by k factorial. Now for those of you who are familiar with some degree of calculus or analysis might notice that this is very similar to the expression for 1 over e and so what this means is that the, pro the fraction of derangements as n goes to infinity is this sum k equals to 0 through infinity of negative 1 to the k over k factorial and that's equal to e to the negative 1 which is 1 over e. So amazingly the fraction of bijections that are derangements approaches 1 over e as n goes to infinity. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.